we want to run a few different scenarios to show or a few kind of um, maybe guideposts to where intraday LMP spreads could go. So this is just the top hour price minus the bottom hour price um, average daily spread for each year based on our, our outlook model. The left plot is showing a few different scenarios. The first is our base case, just running flat $6 gas. Um, so we could compare these scenarios. So that's including, you know, that slide I showed you of our generation mix. Um, so the capacity builds Rocky Walk through and the, and the load that uh, that Juan talked about. Um, there's a ton of solar growth, but there's also storage growth. And those two factors kind of uh, oppose each other when it comes to these spreads. Renewable growth is uh, increasing the spread and storage is bringing that back down. And so we ran these other two scenarios, uh, the first being no renewable builds. So that, that assumes that you do have all the storage capacity that we're forecasting, but solar developments stay completely flat. Um, and you'll see that kind of decreases the, the spread by 25, 2025 by about $16. So the way I think about that is it's, um, it's essentially the amount of it's, it's essentially the amount of the spread that storage is kind of eating up by by growing um, by the amount that we're forecasting. On the other hand, we also ran a scenario of no storage builds uh, in purple, and you can see that increases uh, that increases the spread by about twelve dollars, and that's essentially the volatility that renewables, or in in the case of Kaiso, uh, solar is creating, and so. If you had no storage to bring that back down, we'd see volatility up. Um, but the combination of the two actually keeps average intraday spreads relatively fairly flat. Um, now, this is really just a stochastic model, or it's not a stochastic model. We're, we're really just running one scenario here um, where you know, we're not considering the volatility of, of weather that, uh, that, could, that could occur. So the spreads might end up being actually might higher than kind of what we're looking at. There's definitely some limitations to this, this analysis, but we wanted to do this just as an illustrative case of where those spreads could go and give us some guideposts to think about the, the returns on those assets. Um, we're modeling about a $95 spread uh, as, as kind of a break-even spread required by storage assets that are purely pursuing an arbitrage. Uh, strategy. Um, so, you know, if they stay flat at $112, despite all the amount of storage that's growing, that's that, I, I think we would view that as, as quite a positive thing. Um, important in that, though, as I mentioned, is the gas prices, and that's this plot on the right. You can see um, really just the difference between $3 and $6 or $9 gas is uh, substantially higher. It's about a $22 spread uh, change for that $3 moving gas. So that's that's a big um, that's a big headwind, I guess. Uh, we're forecasting uh, about three dollar and fifty cent gas longer term uh, for Henry Hub, um, but we're currently working on our our regional model um, and Pacific or or the Kaiso market could certainly be quite different as there's um, there's a lot of dynamics going on with gas coming from Canada as well as demand in the north uh, the Northwest. Mm -hmm.